here we go again, back with more Pro Cycle Manager and our Africa Challenge. We have an all African team here, we are in the second stage of this African race for, for once. There's not many African races, but this is one of them, La Tropicale Anissa Bongo. I'm pretty sure it's in Gabon. By looking at the flag, I'm just by remembering the color of the flag, I haven't looked it up or anything. I'm pretty sure it's in Gabon in uh, Western Africa. But this is the flat states. We don't really have the best sprinters in Africa. We have Daryl Impey, who's a great lead-out man in real life. He'll have to do his own work today. And lead-out man, we don't really have any other riders over 70, I think, in sprint. Mine is 75, 67. Actually, it looks like it's probably going to be Tickler I'm not. And he's not the greatest lead-out man you can have. Is there one with great flat stats apart from maybe... This guy here, Johan Van Sul, I think he'll probably be one of the lead-up men as well. So I'll put Van Sul on Impi, and then I'll put probably Kudos on Mintis, who is, of, or of course, our captain right now. Van Sul can also work as well. He did a great job, of course. If you watched the last video, we had a really exciting first date. But right, let's get into the race and uh, get it started. Okay, 25 climbs to go, and these climbs are so tough, actually, in this flat stage that I've decided to pretty much ruined the entire race. Impy's actually still on the wheel here. I didn't even try to get him in the race. But we now have Kudos, Tickler, or not. And we have Willemot, uh, the only other rider in the main classification who of course won the first stage right in here. The rest of the Pelton is trying to catch up with us right now, which they probably will because there's a long way to go still. Um, Hadi can drop off now. He's done his work. Probably Fancil as well. Tickler, Mano, and Lang. All just slow down. They've done their work today. Impy has been protected all day long. He's still sitting here. I'm actually looking to attack now on the last climb. Because you can see these are like 8-9% climbs right here. And I'm not seeing La Sudal moving much up in front. And they have second place right now. But the Clark, who got second, of course, in the first stage. And neither are Astana up in front. Rosa sitting far, far back. You can see working now for... Don't really know, Example, Gart seems to be two pretty strong sprinters. I don't know who else to have. Van Dert, the Patoons. See, now Astana is moving up. 18 kilometers to go. Mind to see. Vulamo is working really hard. You can see that right now. He's leaning over his wheel. Meanwhile, Mind is protected by Van Einzelburg. So I think we can see a good result here. If I can uh, attack and get away on the final climb and go solo for the last... I'm guessing that'll be 10 or so. Uh, actually, maybe only 8 or 7 kilometers to, from the last climb to the finish line. Uh, I think I'll move... Yeah, I think I'll move him up now here. Yeah. Kudos can drop back. He's done a great job today. Becomes a real beast later on in the game as well. Just make sure that Mighty doesn't get blocked by Kudos. I'll move him a little bit to the left here. And Willemo will have to close the gap to Ramansburg. Almost small attack, that's how fast he went there. 20 seconds or so, see back. Van Dat. I think it's a lot of tired people in the Peloton right now. There will MP sit, sitting here in the middle here. Gaps, blocks, offs this rider here. I don't really know, this is Lot Sudal. I haven't seen Barty Clark anywhere. He's then pink jersey, of course. It's some really funky jersey we have in this race. Financial book is probably done now. And that will signal the attack for mine. There's nine kilometers to go. Financial book is done. Hopefully, he can make it over these climbs and hold on to his. Good position in the overall standings right now. Kudos, I'll just hold him as well. Don't know what to do with Daryl MP right here. I'll try and put him on Galculex real because I feel like he's a strong sprinter even though he hasn't shown it for a lot of years right now. He still has to tell him to do so. Come on forward, Villemot. Who's the right and forth? It's Alexander Kolopnev, of course. Kulek. MP just made it over, but he seems tired now. So does Mindless, of course. About a minute gap to the Pelson now. It's a small Pelson, 94 riders. 
Mon Ford is leading out the peloton right here. They have MPS on Qlex wheel. Roger Kluge. Now we're without a sprinter here, we have Roger Kluge. Kluge, Drücker, Kolopnev, I'm on Qlex wheel. Cataldo. Sitting pretty good position right now, but... I'm hoping for Mindless here. Second place, who's gone away solo? Pataska's gone away solo. This is looking like... I love these flags. Looks so cool. Blue, yellow and green, that's not a flag combination you usually see. There goes Willemot, but he has a big gap to make up because I'm in the last 1.5 km now. He's a kilometer behind me, about a minute and a half as well. The clock now, right now in second. Trüger goes, Klüger goes. I think I'll start my sprint here. Pataski is slowly catching up a bit with me, and I'm only about 50 seconds or so ahead of Willemot, but I will still take. My first victory in this career mode with the Africa cycling team and this Africa challenge. Great result. I think I'll overtake Villemo. I'm 43 seconds behind as well. So it might be close, but I don't, I don't think I'll actually overtake Villemo for the, for the yellow jersey. It'll be really close, but it depends on bonus seconds. I don't know how many bonus seconds you actually get. Druka. Impe actually takes a fifth place finish, so. Creative solo overall, Rosa drops by a few seconds. I think there's a lot of gaps on the flat stage. And oh, I didn't expect this one to be so exciting to drive. But yeah, that's it for today. Let's check out the standings after today and go on to stage 3. So I end up taking 21 seconds only of Villemot. Apparently, according to referees, he joined with Pataski and got the same time as him. I think I should have got like 10 seconds or so more. I would still not have overtaken him, but I would have been closer at least between us. MPA takes 5th place, gets the same time as the rest of the pals on here. Uh, most importantly of all, Fernandesburg made it in, actually 15th place after a big effort for me. Really tiring out, really tiring out Willemot, enabling me to make that final attack. And of course the rest of the team worked all day long, so they get a good applause as well. Great job so far, let's move on to stage 3. Stage 3 looks as follows, the hill stage, uh, around the same length as the last one. Doesn't seem that's much more hilly than the other one, but it ends uphill. With some slight nuts uh, before the final. So, should see some pretty fun action again. I think it's, it's looking, just by looking at it, I think it's going to be a lot of fun because it goes up and down all day. And yeah, we're second right now, 17 seconds, I think it was behind uh, Villemot in first. Uh, Fernandesburg is in fifth still, so he's looking alright as well for the overall classification. There's a lot of changes in the classification yesterday. Uh, I think Fernandesburg was only 15th before, now it's I move up to fifth place, so I think a lot of riders dropped off yesterday. But let's get into the race, and hopefully we can take over the first place finish, take over first place jersey, and yeah, protect it for the rest of the race. And as of the first stage again, we'll put kudos on mine test this time, and put Tickel Hamonot on Van Rensburg. We'll save those two for the end because they have been by far the strongest two riders so far in the race. Uh, MP can relax a bit. We'll put Hadi Van Sul and Lang. Up front again, the by far the three weakest rider on the team, I think. So we'll save up MP for a little bit later on. He actually has some crystals as well, 73 hills. So he could be maybe better than Kudos. Or um, perhaps better than Teklam, I know who's really tired right now. Of course, done a great job getting balls in the first couple of stages. But looking at the end of the stage right now, we see not the craziest climb, there's one little climb, the black sector, but that's 34 kilometers before the end. So I don't think that will matter too much. Other than that, the end seems to be, yeah, a small, not ex in insanely steep, but pretty steep climb. Uh, I think the race will be decided long before that, though. Okay, we just made it over the final climb here, and the final climb, the big black climb that we had. Uh, there's still a lot to go, but I think the person's stressed out now, so I'm wondering, should I go now, or should I wait a bit? We'll start here. There's a one more red climb to go here. Actually, three more red climbs before the final climb. I think that's going to be really, really deciding climbs of today's stage. Uh, my three helpers have fallen off. Lang here fell off immediately. Uh, it's down the last two riders here. So he will not be too much help today. And the person is stretched out right now. We're not going to get any more order. Hati, Van still are done. So the question is, should I, when should I move Kudos and take Lamno away, away from Fernandesburg and uh, Mindis and use him and MP up front. I could use, start using MP now already instead. MP is a strong rider, 
Polyanski moves up. Is that an attack? I can't really tell. As that just a Dupont moving up here. Impinal takes control of the race. Coming into a little descent here before the climb. I think this is going to hurt a lot of people this climb here. Just because of how many people are still tired after the last climb. 9-10% here. Goes up to 10% these climbs. That's good to know. I am team. I'm moving out to the left here. Kluge. This cost a lot of energy doing what he just did right there. Pretty much overtook the entire peloton right there. 25 clumps to go. I don't know for how long Impic can keep this pace up with Villamoz in this wheel. Fendi Lilke, Kluge. Pelton once again stretched out. No gaps though. So no one's really falling off still. I think people, okay, two people fell off, but all of these people down here are probably not going to make much of an effort in the rest of this race. 38 win, I haven't even noticed that. That's probably going to make be a huge factor in the end of this race. This is actually a, a little mountain, a little climb here. It's a long, but it's not that steep. I don't know why they classify this as a, as a mountain sprint, because it really isn't anything special at all here. 69 riders, the Felton did break in two here. BMC. But my not, for example, stuck behind here. They do have a couple of riders up here, so they're not with that road, I think. MP's done his job. And now it's time for Kudos and Tikla Mano to move up in front here. That means Van Rensburg will have to take over and protect Mindyes. But the most sitting far up front, I don't know, I don't think he has anyone protecting him, so this could be good for me. Oh, other guy who's a bigger favorite than me, according to the favorites list before the race, was Rosa from Astana. So I'll have to keep an eye out for this blue jersey as well, apart on top of the yellow jersey, of course. I'm pretty easy to recognize in my green jersey, uh, not green jersey, pink jersey, for the sprint competition, I think it is. I'm first in both under 25 and the sprint competition, or, and second in the sprint competition, so I don't know which one is prioritized first here. Actually, there's not really been much happening here, and uh, this is the last climb where something can happen. And still no attacks yet. Kudos actually gets away. A bit solo here. I can try and go solo with Kudos Gauthier. Working for Villamo here. Take the hammer not. Can relax a bit again. Don't know if it's too late to get water, but I can try at least. Doesn't really matter where he finishes right now. Kudos with a plus 5 day save today, trying his best to go solo now, good cheer. Rosa, is that an attack? I think it's like actually an attack, I don't know why. Uh, Willamo would send a teammate to attack, instead of just work for him instead. Mindtest from Anzibuk, sitting far up front here. Once again an attack from good cheer. Kudos, about 50 seconds ahead, I don't think he'll last to the end, because he seems too tired at the moment. I use his energy down now just because I can. 99 here. 62 riders remaining. The wind is really killing a lot of people right here. Little more. Behind Gautier, he comes up with a third helper here, Latour. It's doing well. A minute and 10 for Kudos. Van Dart goes now. I don't really know what Van Rensburg is doing. He should be ahead of me, protecting me here. Villamo is working. There's a lot of wind as well. That's hurting a lot of people. By catching slowly up with the breakaway here. Van Rensburg did a great job for Mainz. Mainz doesn't have much energy left. We're going to catch Kudos here, I think. Gauthier, Cataldo, Villamo is a bit behind here, but I think he's got a good sprint to finish off with. Uh, Kudos almost takes it home, but he will get overtaken at the end here. We will not overtake Villamo. Gauthier, his team actually end up winning. And we didn't even beat Villamo in the state. Seventh place for Mainz. Kudos take tenth. Van Ansburg didn't finish in the front group. Probably finishes around a top 20 place, just outside maybe. But really a lot of tired people here crossing the finish line. Great job overall though, I'm happy about the result and last stage and uh, I think overall we still ended up closer in these two stages than we were after stage one. 
Let's take out the final result before we end the video. Okay, so as you'll get here, takes the stage win 8 seconds ahead of the rest of the of the little group here. Uh, I mean, the same group as Villabo, so no real changes in that group. Um, 15 seconds again down to the next group about the Clark, for example. Rosa wasn't even anywhere to be seen. I think Cataldo finished best. Also, all the way down here with Van Rensburg, who drops down to 10th place. Still a good result from him in the top 10 finish. Tomorrow, we have another hill stage and flat stage. And yeah, of course, then the rest is pretty much flat stages as well. So. I think we'd simulate through a few of the flat stages and do the hill stage and one of the flat stages tomorrow. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, if you enjoyed watching it, please remember to leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. See you guys next time. Goodbye.